Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. So guys, oh my gosh, some wonderful things are happening. You know what? I'm so excited. Because on one hand, things are not going so great for me. But you know, I'm wearing it. I got the poker face on. Don't play. So I'm wearing it. And then on the other hand... It's like, OMG, but I just got to get it in my hands. And once I get it in my hands, guys, I will let y'all know it's all good. I feel like this year, guys, I'm going to go out with a bang, 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 bang. My baby shot me down. Bang, bang. Such an awful sound. You know, all I could tell y'all guys is... Yahweh, Yahweh, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. God is so good. I mean, like, God is so good. Like, I am a firm believer that God knows everything. He will deliver you when He said, "Don't, don't." When He said, "Don't do, don't do." Please, don't do that. For your soul's sake, with listening is great reward. Guys, I'm so excited. I got to share the good news with you. I told you that I will. So I'm just waiting. And you know what? Guys, always remember how you treat people. Because I told y'all I was a cashier, right? I still am. And the person who referred me to this, this, this good news and position, she seen me at my other job. Being a cashier. And I'll tell you something right now. I must have got. 30. Or plus more. Compliments about my customer service. 15. Like. Written and recorded. And I know they haven't. They didn't report all of them. You know. So. I have gotten so many. Because I am a people's person. And I love people and, you know, I try to help people, you know, like, that's just always been me. I'm always trying to save people, always trying to help them. I, like, I didn't realize you can't save people, you understand, so, but I was always trying, and Lord knows that's the truth. My family you saw, you'd bring a stray cat home. Yes, I would, like, <laughs> That's what it is. You understand? And I thank God for that. That spirit and that character, you know. And I'm just so grateful. Because I'm like, all of this stemmed from me working at a supermarket in a cashier's position. Not making that much. But, you know, because I had to make two, work two jobs in order to make my my coins meet. But they was rubbing together, me and guys. Like, hi, nice to meet you. My name is okay. <laughs> so, um, this is what happened. And I can, like, one thing that really stick out to me, guys, it has nothing to do with the supermarket. But it just has something to do with one day, I seen this lady and she fell and she was she was stumbling and then she fell down. So, I pulled my car over, parked, and I was like, ma'am, are you okay? You understand? Because, you know, I'm just as old as everybody else, but I'm always be like, ma'am. So, I'm like, ma'am, are you okay? So, she shook her head, no. And I was like, I'm getting ready to call the ambulance. But thank God it was a person behind us, which I later found out that she was a surgeon. And... She was on the phone with the police calling them, letting them know about the lady because she said she had seen her bag like a distance from where I saw her fall at. So, you know, I was struggling because, you know, I ain't a big chick. But, you know, someone a little bigger than me, that's like, ooh. So I was struggling with picking her up, you know. Well, not picking her up, but holding her up and with her being under the influence of whatever she was under. So, but we got, you know, I got her with another lady because someone else came up to help me and they got on the other side of her and, um, you know, we, we got her to the closest bench, the nearest bench so that she could sit down. And the, the amazing thing was it was like all girl power that day that I remember everyone that came to assist with the exception of one man, he was like, you 
y'all need help. I was like, no, we got this. Thank you. So, anyways, that day, right? So, it was um, the surgeon. I don't know what the other lady's profession was. But then it was a, I, I believe, a CNA or a registered nurse. She told me she was going to school to be a CNA. I said, good good practice right now hands on you understand and it was just me and I was like oh I don't have no skills I'm sorry I'm just me but you know what miss and you know we was asking her all these questions well they were we all was and she would not answer them but she answered me she like she was like to me like you know and sometimes people see something in you you don't see in yourself. Although you might not have all the riches and all the silver and all the gold. Like like Peter said, I don't have silver and gold. All I have is what Jesus Christ of Nazareth gave me. You know, I'm just seeing. And, and really, that's all I have. I don't have nothing. Who am I? I tell people that all the time. I don't have anything. I don't have nothing. I'm not ashamed to admit that. You understand? I don't care. But I have what God gave me. And that's life. And you know what? I always said, Lord, if I wake up and all of this stuff around me is gone, the job, like, you know, I don't even have the, I haven't been to work since November, but I always remember how I got here and how I got here in this position that I am in with my automobile and my roof over my head, because, you know, at one time I had lost everything was through God and his word. And I think like I was just always praying and always listening to the gospel and that's what happened to me during my time of, you know, financial distress when I lost everything, you understand? And I didn't know a way, but God was my way. And now I'm just so amazed. Like, so many things just turned around. Y'all don't even know. Like, when you talk about sacrifice and everything like that, I know about it. And sometimes, you know what, when you help some people, they say you didn't do nothing for them. You didn't do nothing. It was nothing. And it's hurtful. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know you did do something. And sometimes I had gotten to a point in my life when people used to insult me. Because that's very insulting. When people used to insult me and offend me. And say I didn't do anything. And what I did do wasn't nothing. And like, you understand? Like, this dismissing my my um my effort in my work I'd be like oh okay so let me show you the difference in not doing nothing anything and I stopped doing anything for them nothing you can't get nothing from me now because either I do something or I don't either I did it or I didn't either you're telling the truth or you're telling a lie which one is it and I know there's some people that I can honestly say no I didn't do nothing you understand? And then there's people that I know I did everything for, but you want to dismiss it like it was nothing. So, you know what? God bless you. I ain't got time for it. I got to keep all my energy. So, I said that to say this, guys. I got some good news. Oh, my gosh, guys. I got some great news. Like, I think this is going to be my career, guys. Bang, bang. And I'm telling y'all, I might end up buying my house. I know that I'm buying my house. I'm getting my dog and I'm planting my garden. I'm going to have a garden, God willing. I will have my garden. I know that I will have land and I will have my house. I will have my dog and I will have my garden. And I will be having my hearth, you know, the hearth, that outside stove that they had back in the ancient days. Because that's what I want outside so I could cook on it, God. And pick some vegetables from my garden. And uh, make my good salad. My collard greens. My everything, guys. Like, oh, and gee, that is so important to me. Like, you know, so. I said all that to say this. Get the jokers out the deck. Shake the fleas off. And keep it pushing. Because you know what? Somebody out there is watching you and respecting you. And it doesn't matter how you look. What you have, you understand what I'm saying? They're seeing below, they're seeing beneath all the surface. Did I say that right? They're seeing above all the surface. Like, 
the superficial. They're looking at you and your character and who you are. And it's only because of God, Yahweh. Because there's some doors you shouldn't be able to walk through. And if you are able to walk through those doors and you have someone fighting for you and never giving up on you, although you don't know them, that's God, Yahweh. That is God, Yahweh. God, Yahweh. And I'll tell you something, guys. I know we are the chosen ones. But everybody can be righteous. You know, it's truly good versus evil. But everybody can do right if they can. And I'm just advising everyone, you understand, to do right. Because some of us are so blessed. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm the type of person, when you help me, I'm a real child of God. I'm a real child of God. I'm a saint. But I shouldn't tell y'all that. Okay, so, but that's what it is. And I know when you help me, things turn around. Like, I'm a conduit between life and death. I tell you no lie. I could tell y'all stories, but I don't want to spook y'all out. And the Lord say, don't let, don't talk about yourself. So I'm learning not to talk about myself because it could be false pride and ego. And you know how that is. And guys, with this job, it's so good. I'm going to get some good dental and some good dental and some vision too. I might get me some glasses, guys, you know. But anyways, I'm definitely going to check out the teeth. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What is going on? I ain't smoking no more neither. I want them like, oh, what can you do for a sister? Can you hook a sister up? Because I, I need my smile, guys. You know, I'd like to smile. I'd be like, yeah. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, but that's what it is. So there was some guy trying to bag me today. I was giving him like 50 million questions and shit. He was like, oh... Like, come on, my team, and what's your team consist of? Because let's not play over here. Over here on this team, on this side, is boring. <laughs> it ain't nothing fun. It's get your money, go to work, go to bed, and pray. That's what it is over here. So if you got something that's going on that, you know, mm, it might not be for me. I got I to gotta pass. I got to... I got to pass go and not collect. I got to let that be because I'm telling you, some people's lifestyle is scary to me. Even though I like them. Even though they're cool people and they're nice. That's the surface stuff. But I don't want to get caught up out here, you know. It's so hard to get caught up and it only takes a second to destroy everything you ever have in this life. And it takes a lifetime to rebuild and repair. And, you know, but I have to be wise about what I see and what I hear and if I ignore those things those warning signs and the truth about a person and what they do that may cause me harm and me and jeopardize my my life you know even my freedom I gotta reconsider like I oh, don't know. I love you, but I I don't love you that much, baby. I got to keep on. I, I like what the Lord say. What fellowship does darkness and light have? What fellowship does light have with darkness? And are we evenly yoked? You know what I'm saying. I don't even care if your sex is good. Are we evenly yoked? Because I'm even scared to get some of them unclean spirits on me. I don't want all of that stuff. I'd be like, Lord, wash me with the blood of Jesus, Yahweh Shai. And don't let no wicked thing cleave unto me because things are contagious. Bad behavior is contagious. It jump and rub off on you. And I don't want it. So, guys, I said that to say this. I will be letting you know what is happening. What is going on, guys? What is going on? The good news. But I just got to get it in my hand. And I swear it's like a part two. So, guys, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You know? And I don't even, like, oh my gosh. I don't even want to say nothing because of the haters here in Boston, Massachusetts. You know you got them everywhere. And sometimes, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So, if you see me, you see me. And if you don't, you don't. 
but it's whatever, 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 whatever. <sighs> so I used to think this song was this song called I Never <laughs> Isabel if you leave me I never it's like an old school song you understand all these but goodies but come to find out the name of that song was I never hear the bells if you leave me I never hear the bells if you leave me and that's so true. I'll never hear the bells, baby, if you leave me. Whatever. Bye, guys. Have a good night.